Hello and welcome back to yet another new unboxing video. As you can see, and probably you could have seen from the thumbnail, this is, once again, the Pokemon Skill World series. Now, you might be wondering why I unboxed these two first. And if you could read this, or you can already tell by the little Arceus figure on top, it's because this particular figure is an Arceus, or Arceus. And another thing to note is you might see usually they come with a trainer or something but for some reason there is none why is that that's because this is actually the rest of the team that Cynthia uses and you might think hey hold on there's a Lucario missing and that's because in the normal set you already get a Lucario here if you watch my previous Sinnoh region unboxing you would probably have seen the Lucario so they would just say you know, go take that Lucario and put it in with Cynthia, so yeah. Let's get to unboxing. And of course, boom, of course, Arceus is special. So if you have seen my earlier, actually it's actually one of my more popular videos, but uh, if you've seen my, if you've seen my Hoenn region unboxing, you would have seen that they do occasionally release really nice figures of legendary Pokemon, so Rayquaza, Kyogre and Groudon. This is of course the legendary Arceus and we'll open that last. First and foremost, we'll open Cynthia and her team because these are most likely to be found on a shelf. The Arceus, I'm not too sure. And these are the easiest to display. The Arceus, you're gonna need some space for that. I might just put it like on top of all of the uh, Sinnoh region figures. If you all remember, I actually unboxed a full, well, not full size, but a full scale, a bigger scale Cynthia figure, and that was really, really nice. Excellent detail. You can see the eyes are really good. Quite unlike the Amiibo, although they are the same size. Okay, to be fair, uh, yeah, those are good. I had one that was the... Uh, Legend of Zelda, what's the one with the wavy stick? I forgot what it was, I'll just put the name here. Yeah, I played that game and I liked it a lot, so I bought the Amiibo of Zelda. Because I have lots of Link ones already. And like, the face, the face sculpt was absolute crap. But this one's really, really good. He has, I mean, it's rather simple, but the design's also rather simple. The details here, you can see the gold lines on her hair ornaments I mean the rest of she's wearing a full black dress so there's not much detail to inspect or any detail that's required it's just it's just black you know <laughs> what what kind of detail do you want but yes very very good very very good I like it a lot but this is part of my this has practically become part of my expectations for any skill world figures they are I expect them to be this good, especially if they come from Premium Bandai. These are Premium Bandai, so yeah. The ones that are from the candy section, I am a little more forgiving because those are essentially just your kind of mass manufactured figures, so can't really expect too much out of that. But these are made to order, so. I did see them available on Pokemon Center Japan though, so Take what I say with a grain of salt, maybe only in Japan do they make a little more and this time on the Pokemon Center, you know, since they are the brand owners after all. Garchomp. It's not really in a very dynamic pose, but I suppose that's fine. These are, to be fair, just for scale, they're not expected to be able to like, you know, do all that crazy stuff. You can't see them using Earthquake or whatever, unlike the other figure. Slash or whatever. You can see, but the detail is indeed very nice. No paint. The paint's all really, really good. Very, very detailed. Quite sharp. Here's a little bit. It's a nitpick, obviously. I can't spot anything that's obviously wrong with the figure. And of course, that's to be expected of a skilled figure. And I never knew that there was snow teeth right at the beak. <laughs> The more you know, I guess. I always thought that it was a full set of teeth. But, 
apparently not. This, I suppose, will be here. We can see Togekiss, Roserade, Spiritum, and Gastrodon. Honestly, the BD SP fight was kind of tough. I was not expecting that, but the Legends Arceus one was even worse. <laughs> But that's a good thing, that's a good thing. I'm not complaining, it's just, you know, I did not expect them to do that. They were, Nintendo seemed quite bent on keeping it that way for kids. I guess we'll start with the little spirit tomb. Strange. See, it's clear plastic. Very, very nice. Double layered too, so it's at the back too. The decals at the back, does it line up? Kind of. You can see Tomb, the rock that it springs from. Very, very crisp. Very, very sharp lines. And you can see the Pokemon logo there. Pokemon trademark. Okay, now I know why. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure which one it is though. Is it this? No, I'm confused. Oh, like this maybe? Mm, okay, you know what? Uh, I'll fit the rest and I'll see which one it is later because I honestly don't... I cannot tell which stand is supposed to fit this. This is a hard one for them to make, Roserade. Let's see if the details and the make is up to par. Ah yes, okay, they included the lines, very good. Any... Spills? No? Excellent. The yellow is where the yellow should be. Considering its uh, size, very small. You can see how small it is compared to Garchomp and to Cynthia. I always thought it was slightly bigger. Then that means Roselia must be super small then. <laughs> the box doesn't show which part either. They were all standing on their own. Can't be this one, can it? Yeah, definitely not. It has to be one of these two. Uh, no, it's not, all of them are too short. How does yes? This is gonna stand like this. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, I got it. I thought this was gonna be for Togekiss, but yes, this makes a lot more sense. This is one of the most, most unstable pieces. Okay, okay, okay. We figure out one stand. Oh, come on. Um, guess maybe not. Oh. Still really. I need blue tack on the back. This is not gonna work. Okay. Uh, one down. This should be for Togekiss then. So now, let's move on first. Maybe as we use up the rest. Oh, this is not as good. You can see, I don't know if you can tell. But, look at that. I mean, to be fair, this is super, super small. And I'm not a huge fan of this, so I'm not too tilted. Not my favorite Pokemon. But the rest of the body is pretty good. Nice. And this one uh, doesn't need a stand, honestly. Woo! Smiley. Very nice. It's very. It's it's a solid piece. So yeah, I can't really. The join lines are in the middle, but this is actually a whole solid piece. You can see join lines here too. The face sculpt, very, very cute. There's even a little indent here. They didn't need to do that, could have been just a flat texture, but no. They actually added an indent. Look at that. You can tell, there's a nose here, the indent. The sculpt is like practically perfect. It's just the paint is sometimes a little bit off, but other than that, man, this feels so good. 100% sure it's like this. Don't know if it's gonna be kind of like, you know. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. 
I just noticed. Can you see the indent there? Oh, you probably can't, but due to the light, this this is likely. Oh, that means the cape is not gonna. I have to pull out the cape. Ah, no wonder it felt so weird. Okay, yes, got it. You had to you have to pull out the cape for a little bit. Yeah. So you see the cape. There's some distance between the back and the cape, and that middle part. The, the reason why it's so weird is because the legs are like crossed like that. So you gotta push it in, and then you pull out the cape a little bit to slip it between the slots. Done. Now the question. What's this for? They all have a stand except for Toge, except for Gastrodon. But Gastrodon doesn't need to float, so why? And it's it's the most stable kind of figure. It's just like one piece. One piece? <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> oh, hold on. This should be enough for Togekiss, but this could be for Spirit Tomb. Uh, so kind of like this. Yeah, because it's it kind of lost its balance a few times just with that stand. So, yes, very nice. Now we are gonna move on to the big gun, one of the biggest guns in this Sino set. Boom, Arceus. Lord of Pokemon. Mew may have been the genetic data. The genetic base for all the Kanto Pokemon, but supposedly the Arceus is the god of all Pokemon, of all creation, so I think they power crap themselves all the way up there. It comes with a very standard figure base. As you can tell. But it's huge! I don't remember Arceus being this big in the game. But I don't remember Arceus being this... Being this hue. Humongous. Among us. Wait, how do I store it back again? I might not have space to store it, so I need to remember how I took it out. No! I forgot! <laughs> No, disaster! Uh, no, 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 no. How do I store it again? Uh, like that? Kinda. Okay, no, I'll, I'll figure that out after, alright? <laughs> I suppose I screwed myself with that. Or maybe I'll just store it, like, somewhere. This is not that big, so I think it's fine. Let me see the little standees. Actually, if you look at it this way, it's... The waist is really kind of weird. It's like a bulb, bulbous waist. Like the rest of the body is... is really sleek. Wait, hold on. What's going on? Why does it look so goofy? <laughs> look at that. It's so goofy. Hold on. Uh, there has to be something I'm missing. Is it... Is it being placed the other way is this ah okay this feels more like it yes yes but I forgot was this how he was supposed to pose it looks so damn strange it's definitely not yeah it's supposed to look really regal dude like he's supposed to look like this this one, he's kind of like, like, you know, <laughs> as goofy as those. Um, strange. But this fits the best. But it's still... The back legs are so stiff, dude. They are like completely unmoving. This is really, really strange. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely not the way. It's this way. But it's not straight either, so... Am I missing something? See, now it's hugging it really tightly, so this is how it's supposed to go. I guess this is the best angle for it then. This looks really, really goofy. 
Really, really goofy. Never display it like this, I beg you. Display it like this. Never let never let other people look at the legs and what the legs are doing. If you do it like this, it looks okay. When you do it like this, it's like bonk. What the hell is this? <laughs> but okay, let's just inspect the figure. I mean, needless to say, a figure of this size, of this of this brand, will be very, very good. So if you compare it to say something much cheaper like this action figure you can tell obviously the details are maybe not as good still pretty good though Pokemon's Pokemon toy quality is usually very good you can see the eye drop thing see this is a beard by the way now you cannot unsee this so Arceus is actually pretty damn old. There were lines here in the game. Arceus's design is pretty plain, but oh, they even did this. Yeah, the other, oh, that little action figure did it too. Yeah, they're all very good. Very, very good quality. Sculpt and everything, the color. Well, all that's left is a little montage. So hopefully you've enjoyed this unboxing. Because I enjoyed it a lot. And hopefully there'll be more coming. There's actually more. The latest wave of Skill World figures has been released. They re-released some of the Kanto ones. And they released the Nido King. The Nido Queen was with Giovanni. So hopefully you all will tune in next time for more videos. And I'll see you all soon. Very, very soon. Silver Tempest is coming. Oh, my wallet's so painful. Bye.